This is my first hatchery artesian food product. I've belonged to um, Nature Box and Gray's, and while those were fine, they were more snack based. And even though, and some of them were so good that I'd like eat the whole bag when really it was four or five servings. So I decided I wanted to go with something that was more cooking orientated. So that's why I went with Hatchery. I'd heard good things about it. So this is my first one. It'd be the July box. You get a tasting guide. And what else do they have in here? Oh, buy one, get one free coupon. Free shipping. And then it has um, various recipes and everything. So let's look at the first one. They wrap them all individual, which I think they go a little bit overboard on that. But, you know, there's a lot of glass in here, so they really want to make sure that it gets to you safely. Because they have various products. So this is South Border All Things Orange. And let's see if I can figure out what this is. It's a sauce. It's hot sauce. So I'll have to try and be very careful because I'm not really a hot sauce person. But habanero peppers, backdrop of hearty sweet carrots, gold beets, and pumpkin in this tangy hot sauce. So I'll probably won't use it directly on anything. I'll add it to various other sauces so that it just a taste of it. This will last me a good long time. But like I said, this is my first box. I'm looking forward to see what else I get in here. Okay. And this is Chichoe sauce. Let's see if I can find what that's about. Here it is. <laughs> um, sweetness comes from carrots and a pinch of sugar. Garlic gives way to jalapenos and just a pinch of red pepper flakes for a last minute kick. So, again, could be kind of spicy. We'll have to test it out slowly. If it's really spicy, I'll have to mix it in with other um, sauces. I think I'll probably use some of these for in my slow cooker when I'm cooking things up. And this is a flat one. Let's see what's in here. Handcrafted in California. Salt. Handcrafted sea salt. Not sure I like the packaging, but I have some of the extra empty bottles that I can put in there. So smoked sea salt. I don't use much salt, but it should add a nice flavor to whatever I'm cooking. And that's why I went with this is because I want to do add spices and stuff to what I'm cooking as opposed to just all kinds of sweet junk. But speaking of sweet, here is a Laura Ann's Jams. This is strawberry vanilla bean. So that'd go nice on um, toast or bagels. I also find I like using some of the jams in um, when I'm using my slow cooker. Add a little sweetness to it. But this one doesn't, I don't think, probably has a lot of um, bits which is when I like to put it in there because then I reuse the bits when I'm um, cooking up some of my veggies and stuff. So, whoops. Chuck something over here. Fourth Creek Sweet Red Pepper Relish. 
Uh, oops. Sweet and tangy appeal of red pepper, which I love red pepper. Blended with onions, apple cider vinegar, and a touch of sugar. Um, goes with burger, sausage, sandwiches, and cheese. So I will use this on various sandwiches. Give that a go. So that's all that comes in it. So I am very much looking forward to throwing these in with my cooking and on my sandwiches. So that is my first July hatchery box. I've listed all my subscription services below as well as places I get my freebies from. Please check them out. Subscribe to my channel. Share. Comment about anything. Or like it. Thank you very much. We'll catch you next month.